Have you ever used an app to track flights or check airport information? In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create your aviation app using a flight API. It helps apps get real-time flight data. We'll start by explaining what aviation apps are and why they're useful. Then, we'll look at popular apps to see their features. Next, we'll talk about APIs and their essential role in building aviation apps. One API we'll focus on is Aviation Stack. This flight API provides reliable flight data. We'll guide you through choosing the right API for your app and show you how to start with Aviation Stack. Let's begin our journey now. What is an aviation app? An aviation app makes air travel easier. It gives you important information about flights, like when they are leaving, arriving, or if there are any delays. It can also show you airport maps and weather updates. Some apps are made for pilots to help them plan flights and navigate. Real life examples of an aviation app. FlightAware. This app lets you track flights in real time and get updates about any changes to the schedule. For flight, pilots use this app to plan flights, check the weather, and find information about airports. Flight Radar 24. With this app, you can track flights worldwide and see details like how fast they're going and their route. Can we trust APIs for building an aviation app? APIs like Aviation Stack are reliable tools for building aviation apps. They give us access to accurate flight data and other important information. APIs are secure and save developers time by providing the needed data without gathering it themselves. With APIs, developers can focus on making the app work well without worrying about the data behind it. Let's explore Aviation Stack now. Aviation Stack Aviation Stack REST API helps apps get real-time flight data from around the world. It can tell you about airport schedules, flight statuses, and more. You can use it in websites or apps to make air travel info accessible and up-to-date. This API is reliable, updating its data every 30 to 60 seconds. It covers details for over 19,000 airplanes, 10,000 airports, 13,000 airlines, and 300 airplane types in 250 countries and 9,000 cities. Aviation Stacks API is flexible. It can handle lots of requests from big companies to small blogs. It's used by over 5,000 companies worldwide. Key features of Aviation Stack include Global coverage for flight information. Detailed data on flights, airlines, and airports. Strong infrastructure for handling data. Affordable pricing plans. To start using Aviation Stack, sign up on their website to get a unique API key. Even with the free plan, you get 100 free requests per month. How do you choose the right API for creating an aviation app? Choosing the right API for your aviation app is super important. Here are the features to look for in a flight API. Make sure the API has the latest and most accurate flight info. Check if the API is easy to understand and has good instructions for developers. Look for an API that works well without many problems. Make sure the API fits your budget. Choose an API with a helpful support team if you need help. It's great if the API has a community of developers who can help each other. How do you build an aviation app? Here are the steps listed for building an aviation app. Getting Aviation Stack API Key The main component of our application is the Aviation Stack API. It helps us fetch all the data required to create an aviation app. Navigate to the Aviation Stack website and click on the Sign Up Free button in green color. It will show you a pricing page. You should choose the free plan. 
Fill out the form available on the screen and click on the Sign Up button. After that, you should log into your account and get the API key as shown on the screen. Let's move to the next steps. Setting up the environment. Follow these steps to create the Aviation app. Create a directory using the command prompt and open it inside the Visual Studio code. Make sure you have XAMPP installed on your PC to enable the running of this application. First, Open the command prompt and follow the commands shown on the screen. It will create a directory and open to the Visual Studio code. Next, you should visit the XAMPP website and navigate to the downloads. It will show you many options to download the XAMPP into your PC. Let's explore the code of our project one by one. We will talk about all the files and folders creating the functionalities of our app. So, this is what the structure of our project looks like. We will explore all the files and folders one by one. First of all, there is a folder named API. When we click on the drop down of this folder, you can see two files here. The first file is config.php. The basic purpose of using PHP in this project was to keep our API keys safe. The next file helps us implement different flight functions into our aviation application. Let's explore this file. First of all, there is a function to fetch the live flight data. Then there is a function to get details of a specific flight by using the flight number. When we run this application, you will see how all these functionalities work together to create an aviation application. Right now, it is important to understand the structure of our code. Then comes the function to fetch the flight schedules. We also implemented functionality to convert data to UTC format. We also added comments here so that it becomes easier for you to understand the code when cloning it from GitHub. Then there is a function to fetch the in airport information. Then there is a function to fetch the airline data. Finally, there is a function that will help us display the historical data of different flights. You need to write the flight number and apply some filters. And all the details will be shown on the screen. Now let's move to the next folders and files of our application. The next folder in our list is Assets. It consists of two main files, airport.png and flight.png. These two images are the icons displayed on our map to show a flight and the location of the airport. The next folder is CSS. This folder consists of only one file, index.css. This file contains all the styling of our application. You can also change these styles based on your preferences. The next folder is JS folder. This folder consists of our JavaScript file. The JavaScript file consists of a function to display the flight path on the map. It also displays the flight map path. Then comes the main functionalities of our application in the form of five files given on the screen. The first file is airlines.php. This file helps us get the airlines data in our aviation application. We use the airline endpoint from the aviation stack in this file. When you open the aviation documentation, you can find all these API endpoints in the left column. You can use these points to create your aviation application. Let's explore the code of our file. It displays the data in the form of these parameters. Airline name, country fleet size, fleet average, age, type, and founded year. The next file in our list is airports.php. This file uses the airport's endpoint and helps us get the data for the airports on our aviation application. At this point, we use the leaflet JavaScript library to display the map and the location of airports over this map. We also defined a function for custom icon. 
Then, we loop for airport's data and create icons. That was all about our airports.php file. Now let's explore the other files of our project. The next file is historicaldata.php. This file helps us fetch the historical data for a given flight. First of all, we included our file flight underscore functions dot php in this file. Then we initialize some variables. Then there's a function to fetch the historical data based on applied filters. These filters will be applied based on flight number, airline, and date, and then there is a button to apply these filters. Then there is a function to display historical flight data. In this function, we used a PHP loop to display the data. If there is no data found for a specific flight, it will show an error saying, no such flight found. All right, the next file in our list is index.php. This file helps us display the live flights data on our application. We use the leaflet JavaScript library in this file as well. Moreover, we also initialize the map using JavaScript. Finally, there is a PHP loop that helps us show live flights and display their information on the map. The last file in our project is schedule.php file. This file aims to show the schedule of different flights. First of all, we added some filter parameters. Then we get the flight schedule based on those filters. Then here comes the HTML part that will show you the data based on these parameters. Then, finally, you can see the filtered flight schedules. If there are no schedules found, you will get an error saying, no flight schedules found. That's all about our application. Now let's run the application and check how it works on our PC. Open the XAMPP control panel and click on Admin. You should place your aviation app directory inside the XAMPP folder before clicking on the Admin button. It will open the dashboard where you need to replace the dashboard with your aviation app folder name. Ta-da! Here is our aviation application. Let's explore it. Let's try searching for a flight on our live flight record. Here, I will enter the flight name and click on search. Within a few seconds, you will see the details fetched on the screen. Additionally, you can view different airplanes on the map. Hover over any plane and click on it to see the flight details for that particular aircraft. Let's explore the flight schedules functionality. Here you need to apply filters such as airline, date, minimum delay departure, maximum delay departure, minimum delay arrival, and maximum delay arrival. Then click on apply filters to check the results. Next, there is a map to display airport information. When you hover over any airport location, you will see details such as name, city, country, phone number, and time zone. Finally, here is the historical flight data functionality of our flight tracker application. You need to enter the flight number, airline, and date, then click on Apply Filters. It will show you the historical data of a specific flight. So, what are you waiting for? Create your own application today with Aviation Stack.